All right, so you've got your iPad with an awesome photo booth app, like booth events here, and you've got your printer. In this case, it's a DNP QW410. The Cube is an awesome printer. And you're like, great, how do I connect these things together? How do I print from my iPad? Well, the first thing you might have thought is you just grab a USB hub, you plug the printer into the USB, plug in the hub, and you're good to go, right? No, iPads don't work like that. But don't worry, it's easy. In this video, we're going to show you how to connect your printer to this guy, the WCM Plus from DNP. And this is how we're going to print from our iPad to our printer. So this is a print server. This is the newest version that DNP released very recently. And let's take a quick look at this unit. So we've got Ethernet for wired printing, which is what we're going to use in this video. We've got Wi-Fi. We've got USB where we plug the printers in. And we've got power on the back here. And the power is USB-C. So if you're used to powering this from the printer, make sure you have a USB-C end to power it from here. OK, great. So let's get into how we connect these things up. It couldn't be more easy. DNP really makes this simple. So we're going to take an Ethernet cord, wired networking cord, looks like that. Kind of has big telephone ends on the end, if you remember those. And we're going to plug on the one side, we're going to plug it into the only hole that it'll go in on the WCM Plus. And then we're going to take a USB hub like this guy here from DocTech. We recommend the DocTech USB-C hubs. They're really reliable. And it too needs to have an Ethernet port. Your USB-C hub needs to have an Ethernet port. Okay, we're going to take the Ethernet cable, plug that into the USB-C hub like so. And then we're going to take the USB-C hub and plug it into the iPad like this. All right, we're almost done. Last thing we need to do is plug the printer into the WCM Plus. So let's do that. I'm going to grab the USB-C cord here. This is plugged into my printer on the other end. And I'm going to plug this end into the black USB ports on the side here, on the end, like so. OK. And then I'm going to power the WCM Plus with USB-C, like so. And that's it. That's all of the connections that you need to do. So into the WCM Plus goes power, Ethernet, which is to the USB-C hub, and USB to the printer. OK. The next thing we need to do is set this up in software. Let's have a look and see how we configure the WCM Plus. OK, so let's configure our WCM Plus unit. So for this, we're going to connect our Wi-Fi to this unit. We're not going to print over Wi-Fi. We're going to print over wired printing or Ethernet. but we are going to configure the unit over Wi-Fi. OK, so first thing to do is I take my Wi-Fi on the, my computer here, and I connect the Wi-Fi of my computer, or whatever I'm using to configure the device, to the WCM Plus hotspot. So the password for this hotspot is printed on the bottom of the, the unit. It's DNP12345 by default. OK, so once I've connected to that, I open up a web browser, like you see here, and I go to this address, 192 dot 168.4.1 you should see that in the video there and when I go there I can see I'm on the WCM plus config page great now you see how my printer is here make sure your printer is connected to your WCM plus when you're doing this otherwise you won't get a chance to configure it now if you haven't done it already the first thing that you need to do is go to the side here and go to device and then go to date and time and make sure you set the date and time pretty close to accurate because lots of devices will refuse to communicate with a device like this if it has totally the wrong time. So first thing to do, set the date and time. OK, the next thing that we're going to do in this video is we're going to configure our printer. And in this video, I want to make sure that I can print a 4x4 printer, or 4x4 print, sorry. So that's a square piece. So I'm going to go to my printers here. I'm going to expand this down. I can see I've got this printer settings button here. I'm going to hit that. And you can see I've got some options here about the finish and the print sizes. And sure enough, you can see I've already got 4x4 selected. So that's great. That's, that's what I want for this, for this example. Fabulous. 
And that's really all there is to configuring the WCM Plus. There are other options, but we're gonna skip those for now. And now let's take a look at how we add this in the Booth Events app. Okay, so we've got our devices all connected together. We've configured the WCM Plus, which we only needed to do one time. And now we need to add the printer in the app. So how do we do that? Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do in Booth Events is we're gonna tap an event, and then we're gonna to go to the last page of the event settings here, and we're gonna scroll down to the bottom. And so you can see there's a print switch. We're gonna turn on printing like so. Now by default, every time a guest prints, it's gonna pop up the iOS print settings and, and do the flow through the iOS. And that's not what we want. We want to tap here, and we're gonna to switch to app manage printing by adding an air print printer. So we selected adding an air print printer, and now we can see all of the air print printers the iPad can see. Now, at this point, the iPad's Wi-Fi is not connected to the WCM Plus. The iPad's Wi-Fi is connected to the internet providing Wi-Fi source. The reason it's able to see these printers is through that Ethernet link that we use, that Ethernet cable. And that's important because we need this iPad to be connected to the internet when it prints so that our emails and texts and shares go through. Now, the other thing to notice here is that you can see the app is seeing the printer twice. There's only one printer connected here, but it's seeing it twice. And the reason for that is I selected two paper sizes. So the way the WCM Plus works is that for each paper size that you select, it publishes that as a separate printer that the iPad can print to. And that's a great way of doing it because that means that I can choose exactly the paper size straight from any app that supports AirPrint. Okay, now in this demo, I wanna do a square print. So let's go ahead and select the four x four printer like so. Great, I have some other options here about auto printing and max copies in case I wanna prevent kids from going crazy on the printer, but let's leave those alone for now. Okay, that's great. Let's go ahead and launch this event. And we'll start it up. And we'll take a really bad picture of myself. Okay, here's a phenomenally poor photo of me. We'll switch up the background like that. Hit choose. And now we're gonna print that guy. So I hit the print button and you can see how many prints. This is all done in the app, no pop-up or anything like that. So I hit print. And now we're gonna give 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000. About seven seconds to start spooling. That's very fast. Much faster than the WCM2 was. Okay, great. And that's it. Now my print's gonna come out, and we're all done. Boom. Nailed it. Okay. If you have any other questions, uh, please hit the question mark on our app or website to contact us. You can also leave comments here. And uh, if you have suggestions for other videos you'd like to see, we're always happy to hear those too. Thanks a lot for watching.